of the goddamn show. Shout out to Sex Talk and specific Chris Comfort for making that for us. Go watch his show on the YouTubes. Sex Talk. Yeah, Chris Comfort, man. Way to go, dude. You're the man. Uh, I paid him in Bitcoin. He accepts Bitcoin now? No, I just made him because I was like, I don't have any other money. Was it? Nice. It's money. He, you know, he should embrace it. He's, he'll have to. He has a fucking sex talk show on YouTube. He's going to have to embrace Bitcoin. He's going to have to embrace tipping from anonymous people mm -hmm. in micro doses. Yeah. That's the way to do it. Yeah. Speaking of which, if you like what we do, go do that shit. Yeah. If, if it feels make, worth it. Make your own podcast. Yeah. And then shout us out. <laughs> yeah. That'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then tell your viewers to send us some Bitcoin. If you make a podcast and it gets way more subscribers than our eight, have us on. Because that'd be great to know that someone listened to this. I love that. And was inspired. Yeah. I can't. It's funny that we're still doing this. Well, we should be doing it forever. I know. Most it's, people will quit. It's because most people are bitches, Kyle. They are. And I'm they feeling, are bitches. I'm feeling pretty amped up this week. You're not feeling very bitchy this week at all. What do you mean? Right? You're, uh... No. You're, you're, you're really cruising I, right now. No, yeah. I, um... This week, people of the internets... I fucking crushed some PRs in the gym, and I'm pretty goddamn happy about it. When 100, I 100 kilos. 100 kilo clean. clean bitches. You know you know the only disappointing thing What's about that? that video? What's that? You didn't even try to jerk it. What do you mean? No. You didn't even try the jerk. No. Well, I, I, my shoulder. No, I'm not even going to make oh, excuses. Oh, can you not jerk? I'm not even going to make excuses. My no, no, but I'm, my I mean, jerk I didn't know that. is not that strong. Okay. It's not. Uh... Are you something injured? I need to work on? I was, but you know what? I could start fucking doing it now, so I will. Um, what what uh, what do you jerk right now? No idea. I've never had someone teach me how to do it. I just have been going with momentum here. I don't have a coach. I don't hang out with you enough. Cause you know who is your coach? Attitude Nation. Attitude Nation. Yeah, you learn from the internet. It's true. People of the internet. I learned how to clean pretty much. I mean, I did have help from you and Dan Trink. Shout out to Dan Trink. Yeah, but just a couple times. Just like maybe not, twice. Two times, maybe. Not, I think yeah, it's specific. A lot. But I've been watching a fuckload of YouTube videos by John North. And you even said it when I was cleaning with you once. You're like, do you watch a lot of John North videos? Because <laughs> you, you have his style. I totally you know? mimic it. And I like his style. He's fucking aggro. He gets me amped the fuck up. And you know what? Yeah, maybe there's too much lumbar spine in it. But guess what? I have a strong fucking back. Yeah. So I'm going to just do it. You do have a strong back. It's you have to have a super strong back. You have to be built right, too. Yeah, it helps that I'm five foot six. It yeah, yeah it, it helps <laughs> yeah, well yeah you have long arms and you have uh, uh, a short torso yeah but that's it, North is like that he's yeah he's the same so way he's got a similar build pudgy center short torso <laughs> yep. longer arms yep. um but yeah great week crushing dates crushing PRs <laughs> crushing life yes being inspired I'm really tired right now because of deadlifts but you know what crush that shit too fuck that how you doing. Me? What have you been up to? In life? Yeah. I feel like I'm on a roller coaster. Oh, do tell. Of life. Like, I, I don't know how long. It has been a while since we've been on the podcast. It's been f four weeks. It's been too long. And, uh. It sucks. It does. It blows. But, like, I feel like years have gone by just because I have had ups and downs and yeah. backups and back downs and backups and back. Like, I feel like. Life is so variable oh. right now. Like, <laughs> it's crazy, man. And you haven't crazy. been able to sh get your, your outlet, the podcast. I think a lot of it has to do with that. I think it has to do with the fact that I have, uh, it's been hard for me to train lately with my knee. Yeah. Training so, is fucking huge. You know dude. what? Since you are a fitness professional and you fucked up your knee, yeah. how how'd you nurse that back? Because there's definitely someone out there who might be listening to this that has no idea how to like back. Yeah, who battling, just, who just battling an injury? Some dude or woman is like, yeah, well, I guess I just have a shitty knee now. Like, how'd you get back? You mentally have to get yourself back. And I'm not all the way there, but the, the first step is you just have to stop being scared, and mm -hmm. you just have to do it, and it's going to hurt. Like, if you do PT, it fucking hurts. Yeah. If, you, if you're in physical therapy, if you broke your leg, if you tore your ACL, when you start training again... Mm -hmm. It fucking hurts. Yeah. It doesn't feel good. And and that's the hardest part because you're trying to figure out if you should should be training at all or if you should be just resting. And I rested for a while, but it just kept f feeling worse and worse. And I kept getting more scared and more scared and nursing it more. You know, like it, di it didn't help at all. And the, the reality was I just had to get up and start doing something. Yeah. Yeah. That was just left open. I forgot about that. Really? Yeah. Christina Aguilera? Is that who that is? Yeah. 
Really? Yeah. I think it's a fake picture. No, this is real. It's a whole photo shoot. I didn't mean to drop that. We don't have a video today, but Alec just uh, pulled up his iPad and just had a picture of Christina Aguilera topless. There's a bunch I'm of them. I'm pretty sure she doesn't have any topless photos. No, they're right. real. Go through them. There's a bunch. See this. There's a whole bunch. I didn't know who that was. I just wanted to masturbate. And then I found out this album. I was like, oh, this chick's hot. How in the world could you masturbate to this? How could you not? See, this, it's th- these are like Playboy, th- not yeah. even Playboy. Oh, these yeah. are like Sports Illustrated we haven't, swimsuit. See, edition. this is exactly why we should do the podcast every fucking week. I have de- I have decided with my masturbation material to not watch porn. I'm what? cutting I'm cutting out porn. You cut out pornography, vid- like video, like videos. And you're only going with like nudie pics, like like straight up 1930s, like Marilyn Monroe 50s. I really? Say that. Yeah. Because man, I was getting too desensitized. I was. I would be with a girl. There was one time where I was, I was going to sleep with a girl, and I had problems keeping the old guy up. I was like, oh, really? my God. Yeah, and then I started doing some research on it, and, it, and there's, like, a shocking number of men my age with erectile dysfunction believe that. in the past 10 years, and it's because of fucking porn. Like, I'm so desensitized. So when, I, when I'm with a regular girl who, you know, could be hot or whatever, even if she is hot, if I don't have 30 other girls to look at while I'm fucking this one girl, oh, boy. It actually helps. Yeah, so my boners what, have been better. What, what would you say is your rate you anymore of, of of rubbing one out? Like, oh, is that, is like it, how many times a week? Dude, that, see, because that varies for me t- entirely. For me, I'll probably go, every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I mean, I'll have days or weeks where it's like every day, but then I'll have like a week where it's like none. No, you know? I can't do that. Every so often I'll throw it in there on purpose. It's good to get your, you know your mean, levels just, back up. I'll like, you stop. do feel more energy. Totally. You're like, oh, I'm Superman. But then you can overdo it, and you can go yeah. so far that then you just you can't stop thinking about it. It's debilitating. It's really fucking debilitating. Guys, we need to talk about this shit. We do. Because I think guys, too many guys are embarrassed about what yeah. I just admitted. Yeah. And the reality is we're all going through it, and we're trying to fucking figure out how to manage <laughs> this. This. Yeah. It's a monkey on your back. We we were all, as a man, here we go, I never thought about this way, but as a man, each and every one of us was born with an addiction to heroin, pretty much. Yeah, basically. We're never quitting. We can never you stop can't this. Quit. This it's is like a, food. Unbreakable addiction. Anyone that ever tells you, like if you're a young kid right now, because I remember being 17 and listening to podcasts, if you're a young man and you're listening to this right now and you go to church and they're like, no, you could pray it away. Or I don't do it. It helps me because I pray to God. They're fucking lying to you. They're so lying. They're to lying you. to you. N- yeah. They're, there's, they're there's lying right to you. You're not wrong. You're not a sinner. You're a human goddamn being. And guess what? That's how you program, motherfucker. So if you have a problem with it, not you in particular, you got to blame God on that one. <laughs> you have to. You have to. It's God's fault. Why else would I have this, this insatiable desire to fucking strike me to release? I know. I can't think. Well, and I mean, it must suck too if you're like in some little ass town. In bumfuck nowhere, and uh, and no one is owning up to it. Nobody admits to it, and you yep. feel like you're all fucking alone. You're not. You're not. You're not alone. Not at all. Mm-mm. Well, listen to us. Talk to us. You can, us. you can talk at us, but not. Don't call me or anything. You can tweet us. Yeah, you can tweet. Me. Tweeting's the best. Kyle Fields at Twitter. I gotta figure out Twitter, man. It's fucking easy. You just. You mean what? what? All right, so I had this conversation <laughs> with one of my clients today. He has 250,000 followers. What? Right? 250,000. Did you buy him? No. Why did he have that many? He's a notable human. Oh, okay. And okay. That guy. He, but he was telling me, he's actually not who you think. No. Oh. Um, but he was telling me how uh, he read this book about like how to use it properly. Hmm. And it's it, like, he didn't, he's, he said he's going to bring the book in for me, but he basically gave me a little tidbit and he's like, you you can't just stand on the corner shouting your views. He's like nobody gives a fuck. You're just no, a crazy person. Of course not. He's like, but if you if you join a conversation, then and you make valid points in that conversation, like people will start to like take notice. And that's what I don't use. I yeah. don't use Twitter properly that way. I don't know how to find the conversation. It's so easy. if you would enlighten me and anyone listening to this uh, as to how to use Twitter properly. I'd very, very much appreciate it. I'll tell you what I you know, know. Like how to start. Because I'm no Twitter pro, but I am not anyone of notoriety at all. Zero. I'm just a regular dude who happens to have a microphone and an internet connection. Yeah. But I have like 200 some odd followers on there. Like people I've never met, have no idea. And it's simply because I tweet at people, like comedians or podcast hosts usually. Like it's usually those people mm-hmm. or fitness uh, personalities. 
and I'll, t- I'll I'll comment on one of their tweets or on a comment of one of on a comment of a comment on their tweets, and you could start a discussion with somebody cool, and then people will like like and revine what you said if it's something good, and mm-hmm. then people see that, and then you just start getting followers, and people will tweet at you about that thing, and you just start having relationships with people. It's like it's just like going to a bar. Imagine you go into a bar. If you went into a bar and you just started having proclamations, just like yelling in the corner. People wouldn't fucking talk to you because you're a weird ass. Yeah, yeah. But if you bought someone a drink and then commented on something funny they said, you'll start having friends. It's the same exact thing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna live tweet. You're gonna live tweet right now. I'm gonna live tweet. Uh, live tweet. I mean, like, uh, I get you got to walk me through this. So where would you start? Would you search for North. like a hashtag? Go to John North. Go to, just both, go to his. Go, go to go, his. Let's just uh, go to John North. Okay. Okay. Enhance your experience with John fucking North. John North. That's where you. That's where everyone should start with everything. Look at that. John North actually sent out a oh, tweet wow. three seconds ago. That was weird. Look at that. Boom. Universe. Thanks for thinking. Bar slamming festival last weekend of August in Statesville. So here's here's something else that like I feel like is notable. So mm. we also know he, he sent this tweet out seven seconds ago. Yeah. So he's on Twitter right now. This moment. So let's right. tweet at him. So if you tweet at him, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna tweet. Tweeting at. The master. I'm gonna master I'm gonna write bar slammer. I'm gonna write during our live podcast. Throw in some free coffee and I'm in. Boom. So wait, here's the thing. What do I do? Do I go at Attitude Nation because that's his Twitter handle? Yeah, you just click. And it. I just do throw in some free coffee and I'm in. Or do yeah. I have to like? Uh, do I have to? Uh, like re. <laughs> write the tweet that he just no, wrote, dude, just so he knows what I'm referring to. No, you just no. Go, you click you click on that tweet itself. You yeah. hit the reply button, and boom, you're good to go. And then it's just yeah. that's it. And I've actually had John North in particular retweet and respond to something I sent towards him, so I was pretty happy about that. It was a good day for me. I I basically grew a beard instantly. That My legs awesome. grew ten inches in size, <laughs> just from him retweeting my he, tweet. Dude, <laughs> uh, I mean. He is too entertaining not to be a star. If you don't like John North, you go fuck yourself. He should be How's something. That? He should be doing something. Like, he should be a, a CrossFit you commentator. I was just going to say, he should be interviewing the CrossFit athletes. He should be doing color for yes. CrossFit. Co- yeah, color, co- like a Joe Rogan of CrossFit. Yeah, the way he does the MMA. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, like, who else would do it better? Oh, he's so entertaining. He's just, he, he's a fucking animal. And not only could he lift probably just as much as some of the best CrossFitters, but he's fucking hilarious like he's a crazy son of a bitch super funny man give him 30 maybe 45 ounces of coffee and he's good to go (laughs) so does this so okay i just replied now i like see there's a line Mm. like from my tweet to his tweet so it it did it just it knew that i'm replying to his yeah yeah and now so all this is it's a giant uh thread making yeah it's a thread yeah that's it that's all twitter is it's threads that you can only exceed 100. Holy shit. It's that simple. You just blew my mind. <laughs> it's that fucking it's easy, a, dude. It's, it's a forum. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's what Twitter is, dude. Yes. I feel so stupid right she, now. Yeah, you kind of should. It's really that simple. You, you get a pass. You're, you're over 28. Dude, we, uh, we are so fucked. What, old people? Old people. And Kyle's not even that old. You're, what, no, you're I'm 31, 31 man. Yep. I'm 31, and I am a dinosaur. When it comes to a lot of this stuff. And and you're next, dude. Oh, yeah. Just wait. wait it's coming. Wait like four years. It's already happening. It's already and, happening. And there will be 12-year-olds that are masters at some it's shit. It's already you happening. Have no idea what's Do going on. My, I have little cousins who are on, uh, I'm not going to say the social thing, because people might find me and then them, and that makes me so upset. All right. Fuck it. It doesn't matter. They're on like a video-making app. That's really funny and popular. And... um. They're fucking hilarious. Like, they're so funny as, like, these little six- and eight-year-olds with their editing skills. Because you know those, like, famous, uh, fuck it, Viners, where they'll just include videos and then, like, blah, reaction yeah, yeah. to say They're doing that at, like, ten. And the jokes are funny. Like, they're legit funny. These kids. At like, ten years old. They're my little cousins. They're setting up punchlines. And they're fucking good. Like, they're good. Like, one of them, I almost want to sit her down and be like, listen, you might want to start writing or maybe even do stand-up. The future. No, I'm serious. Like seriously, because she doesn't. She hates school, but she's creative. She's a super good drawer. Wait, who she's is funny. This? My cousin. Oh, okay. Little cousin of mine. All right. She hates school. She's super good at drawing. But she could be really. She could be. A, but she's hilarious. Oh, so 
She's setting up punchlines and bits. Dude, I know that uh, people have been like discovered, you know, on Twitter yeah. just for being like get writers, like writers for comedy shows, and they've been like found. That uh, you know, Bo Burnham. Remember Bo Burnham? You know, yes. Yeah. He's a stand-up comedian. Yeah. I was watching Bo Burnham in the eighth grade back when he was just making YouTube videos, like funny songs. Like he was just a guy that had how, like. How old was he? Bo Burnham was my age. Oh really? Yeah, he. I think he's maybe two or three years older than me. He's a really funny stand-up comic. Yeah, he's. I think he's twenty-four. I'm twenty-one. So I was watching him in like eighth grade when he was like a sophomore in high school, making oh these hilarious God. videos. I remember him as Bo Burnham, not not the comic. And then he came out as this famous comedian. I was like, when the fuck did this happen? Because one day, he just stopped making YouTube videos. Like for years, he was gone, and apparently he was on he was on the he road. Was just he was honing a his skill. He was becoming a professional, which is great. Oh. So the internet. Is a powerful thing. It would be crazy if my little cousin became fucking Vine famous. Vine famous. But she's so funny. She's way funnier than me on Vine. Like, I thought my finds are funny. No. <laughs> they're not. She's fun. She's hilarious. <laughs> she's so funny. I'm not good at it. We tried once. I, I, tried, I, still, I still try to make something. I tried to make a, a funny Instagram video yesterday. How'd that go for you? I don't think it really worked Did out. you post it? Yeah. I'm going to watch it right now. Here, yeah, look it up real quick. It, 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 I found – here, turn around. You Grab that, um, that men's health. Wait, are you in the men's health? Yeah. Kyle Caulfield's sexy model pants. So I found this in Walmart. Where was there at Walmart? Not Walmart. Whole Foods. So I don't know I said Walmart. That shit's but. illegal in New York City, son. But I found this. <laughs> So fucking funny. That's awesome. Do you remember doing that? Yeah. Yeah, this one was like a couple months ago. That's awesome. I remember. But like, it, it, I'm, it's so stupid because I'm doing a, a Turkish get up with a fucking, with a tiny dumbbell. Weight. Oh my God. Let me see and that I, again. I tried to make a really funny vine, or not vine, but. Uh, Why do they make you put such a weak weight? I don't know. They don't have bigger ones, man. That's all I got. Looking at it right now. Uh -huh. we'll, pull, we'll pull this up. Live action, Kyle's wine. <laughs> if you if you want to, what's my what's my Instagram name? Oh, if you want to file Kyle, file Kyle, follow Kyle on Instagram. It's Kyle Fields Ten because he's still of the age where you put numbers and usernames. I know. <laughs> well, I can't think of anything better. Kyle Fields it's retarded. It's probably a lot of Kyle Fields. Uh, there's at least a dozen. I got Alec Jose on there. First name and middle name. I couldn't find you forever. Yeah, it's Alec Jose on Twitter, Instagram. Jose. Yeah. Some middle name. Um, Do you feel the rust coming off? Like, I feel like a, a boxer who hasn't been in the ring for a while. Yeah, I got totally. ring rust. Segways are a bit slow. My combinations aren't that great right now. I know. It's how, okay, did we, how did we do this before? Practice. I think we, we were higher. N we were, but it was also <laughs> practice. Uh, <laughs> That's what we're doing now, too. Um, oh, hey, just so everyone knows, like we're not just shitting the bed here. This is the first podcast we're ever doing in Kyle's home. From my living room. Without Angelo's assistance. Yeah. So Love this Angela. sounds like shit. Sorry. Sorry. Whatever. It's the best we could do. I, I, I didn't even do a dry run. We no, just, this is I the first. literally pulled the shit out of the box. Yep. And uh, we're just trying. You know, I hooked up to GarageBand. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. <laughs> And if anything, uh, it's kind. Of, it's great. Kyle has two dachshunds, cute, adorable fucking dachshunds that I like to get drunk and walk they're with. Cute as fuck. Look at her. She and can't even hold her head. It up. helps she's that they're like here. Sort of awake. Oh, she keeps so waking up and looking ass, and then head keeps falling down. She's a cute dog, but she'd be a real cunt sometimes. <laughs> what is this? UK doctors push for permanent ban on sale of tobacco to and anyone born after two thousand. On a bid to make the country smoke free by 2035. Okay, How this is do fucking you stupid. Feel about this, Alec. All right, this is the thing. Fuck you, doctors. This is absurd. You don't. If you want people to stop doing a thing, you don't block that thing. That will just excel whatever that fucking thing is. Look at any sort of prohibition, like the alcohol. You, you, you they'll end up creating like a drug syndicate of tobacco, causing more crime and murders. Like it just like a ridiculous waste of tax fund taxpayers' money over there. Don't make it illegal. Just tell people, hey, it's really shitty. Well, and with more, more time and knowledge, people will smoke less. They just it wouldn't be illegal. They would just say, if you're born after 2000, you are never allowed to. But yeah, if you were born at 2001, you would. Yeah, that wouldn't work. 
It's fucking stupid. I just don't think you're going to be able to do it. I think you're right. I think binary thinking. I think the more and more we actually look at the data as to like what how addiction works and like the damage it does it's all eventually it's going to be all be illegal or it's all going to be legal yeah because if somebody wants to do it they're going to do it and and they don't like there's no indication that, that making something illegal it slows no. people from using it exact if, opposite any yeah if anything it makes them more interested um it seems like the way to do it is just like it's serious education right and and like tobacco it's not like if, if you never start it's easy it's easy not to be addicted to tobacco it's it, the draw is not even there no. it's not that great it's just a super addictive product yeah it's it's, it's not like you get like these these profound experiences no, like it yeah. doesn't like really affect your life all that much like it may it, you know what it does i, I was thinking about it. a speedy buzz it allows you to put energy into something. Yeah. It creates some, it creates, um, anticipation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Stephen you're like, King purposely smokes for that. You're always thinking of like when your next cigarette is, you're always thinking about like when you get that next <laughs> fix, terrible. but that's the reward. It's terrible. Yeah. It's, <laughs> you know, like that's, that is not, it's not a fun drug to be addicted to. You said it, you said it with, as as information becomes easier and easier to be distributed through just poor and poor neighborhoods, like you could just look at a fucking timeline. It's literally linear. The the smarter people get, the less they smoke. The tobacco. less they do terrible drugs. Yeah, drugs terrible. are gonna ruin their lives or or right. kill them or do anything particularly terrible for their for it's them or their lives. Like uh, what was it the other day? like um the Young Turks put out a story on Facebook the other day and it was this fucking like Louisiana fucking governor was like do you really want to live in a I'm breathing really heavy into the mic I'm sorry do you really want to live in a world where cannabis is legal it's like yes yeah the answer is yes yeah this person who's probably never smoked yeah yes yeah I mean the, you're that's not the reality too like the people making the big problem I have is the people making these laws no, aren't experts they're not educated well the, the, they're not experts in that sort of Decisions. Anything, yeah, in anything. Let's talk about that. People who run the country, like I was looking at a statistic, like over eighty nine percent of all presidents have been either lawyers or uh, what was it? They all had a degree in, 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 in like criminal justice majors. No one had an, had uh, an, econ an economics as well. Some of them, but no one had a degree in like biology, physics, the uh, um. um Psychology, like people who basically understand things or how to make things or know how things actually work, no one had knowledge of that. But we had a bunch of lawmakers and people who knew how to say the right things to get voted in because of a silly system. Like, if 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 you're the person you want to vote for doesn't, if they're not active in something that's just not making law, then why the fuck would you want that guy leading anything? Why do we even want a leader at all? But that's a yeah. whole different topic. That's yeah, no, that, I mean that's 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 the truth, but. I mean, you hit the nail on the head. Like, not they don't know what the fuck no. they're talking about. Why they're, would you? How dare you comment on a drug you don't know about? The only thing that they are professionals at is like getting elected. So they're just looking at at polling data Hot and topic. they're trying to agree with the m most people yeah. to get reelected. It makes sense that the Louisiana guy would say that because, like, who the fuck is voting for him? Probably like old, yeah, old people right. in their fifties and just yeah, they don't care. I mean, like, if if. Saying that uh, they want to legalize marijuana would get them elected, they they all say in a heartbeat. Yeah, they don't care if if punching babies was the new thing. If that would get them elected, they'd do it. Yeah, they if, would be maybe in Florida baby punching. I think Florida would be the first state to promote baby punching. God, what if Florida Florida did some crazy shit this way? Or I, I they did read some, Florida. <laughs> I know <laughs> I read some like Florida. I read some crazy headline out of Florida. I'm like oh. racking my brain trying to remember. Was like, it the mother that that's that that that's that. that Branded her children. <laughs> was it that you didn't read that? That was awesome. And you know what was really sad about that? Wa damn, reading that article, awful. it wasn't the branding of the children that made me sad. It was the mother was really fucking hot. Like that's what made me sad. She was like this hot punk rock girl, like purple hair. I was like, ah, oh, why? Maybe serial brander. Yeah, that's that's another thing. Talking about the whole masturbation thing as a guy, my brain instantly went to sex when reading well, that I article. Mean, <laughs> it, isn't it? Isn't it true that she was like, attractive? Isn't it true that they they did some study where um, they looked at guys that that looked at lots of porn 
and they had less brain matter. Yeah, yeah. The, the gray, I think it was called the gray matter of the brain was smaller. Dude, if that's not an indication that, like, we got to get our shit to the, Dude, together, guys. I, like, we got to figure this out because it is actually shrinking it's your brain. Di- it's ruining your brain. Yeah. Your cognitive functions it's, decrease. It, what it was is it decreases the, the interconnections between brain sections. So, uh, basically, synapses yeah. that deliver information to other parts of the brain were slowing down because of porn. Makes sense. Why do you think I'm fucking looking at night like Christina? What's her name? Aguilera? Christina. 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 Aguilera. Whatever her yeah. name fucking is. The girl barely showing boobies and shit. Right. I got. I can't go to porn anymore. I can't. <sighs> it's ruining me. And you should stop too, Kyle. We all stop. I know. This isn't a moral thing. This no, isn't you're right. Morals. It's a brain thing. It's like I don't want to be brain stupid. Health <laughs> thing <laughs> for sure. I don't want to be dumb. I know. Well, I feel dumber yeah. after I jerk off, dude. We're du- we're definitely dumber. Like if you have like a lot, if you have like an hour long jerk off session, Jesus. like it, 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 IQ you feel down forty retarded. points, forty points at least. Oh, you just uh, and not only that, for whatever reason, I still get like guilt. I, I feel like guilt. It's like, uh, I'm so lazy. I just yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Because you know it's not real. Yeah. It's like, oh. God. You I trick yourself. It was real. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then like this, realize, I'm the man. Like, Oh, I did it to myself. Oh, that I doesn't even come on myself. Not it's even gross. Mm. I know. Man. Now we got a shower. Dude, and we're shame. fucking animals. It, I mean, it's like anything else. I blame how women. Many, how many times does it always <laughs> come back to moderation? <laughs> Joking. What? How many times does it? Al- it, it always comes back to moderation. Always. It can't it be. Always every day. comes back to moderation. I might do like three days a week now. Because well, is that yourself? Like, it, if you go too long, you'll fucking you'll that you'll obsess over it. Because yeah. you, you'll be you'll feel like you're about to explode, dude. And that's not good either. There, do you but, know when you? But really, that doesn't come on until a while. You know, what's a while? Like a week. <laughs> it's like you know three days for me. Yeah, and then I'm just like I get those eye twitches. You know, those eye twitches just like <laughs> you can't. You just you just like one eye's going. You're like, well, I mean, it, but I've also <laughs> I've also thought too. I think porn uh, saves a lot of marriages. You know, for I, sure it'll help. You know, like I, the I sex think drive up. Well, I think uh, you know you have somebody that's just just exploding from the pants, and for wha- for whatever reason they're not having sex at home. Like may- maybe they have a wife that just had a baby, and she's like she not. You fuck. know, it's been a couple months, and the guy is just like, oh my god, oh yeah. My god. I can't. And like you know, it, you don't have proper jerk off material. You know, you you know, I think would help that. Guys go out and do stupid shit. No, I think would help that. Like, really, I really, I legitimately do believe this. I think prostitution would help that. Yeah. I think if we had easy access to clean professionals of the sex trade. But wouldn't that be like um, that would ruin the the relationship? Also. No, I think that would be make it better. Really. Yeah, because at I the would end, I'd like of to hear you flesh this one out. I got this, bro. I can't wait till your future wife hears this. Uh, so, so I can't. This is the thing. I'm never getting married. No, um, I, nah, let's I just hope she'll will. never hear this. I hope she does so she knows exactly who I am. This is the thing. If it's you're true. a person and you're in a committed relationship, at the end of the day, your relationship is, is not necessarily coming down to who you're fucking. Again, this is coming from someone who knows nothing about relationships, so let me get on my soapbox here. So it's not. <laughs> it's like I know nothing, so I'm just going to go ahead and talk about it. I know. Like I, I love do. it. Um, Hear it. I don't think all like if your relationship is just boiled down to the sex life, and if you think someone else is sex you, or if you fuck someone else, it's over. Probably wasn't that good of a relationship. Like, aren't you with someone because of uh, the emotional stability and their personality and all that other shit? So, if you need a release, like, let's say your wife gave birth, like you said, and she like tore the lining of her vagina, which happens a lot apparently, well, it, or she's just going through body image issues, and right. she's just not ready. Right? She doesn't want to have sex right now. Yeah. If you would, I don't feel like it's. Un, like an unrealistic a- uh, claim or, or a question like, hey, can I just have – I need a release. This isn't about emotional support. I don't like this person, but they are offering a service that will keep me from um, a- assaulting myself and others around me. Yeah, but like it, <laughs> to play the devil's advocate, like Do it. you know, in this day and age, like I think most wives would say, well, go rub one out. It's you know, like – Definitely not the same. Yeah, yeah it is. Probably. Maybe I just want to. Dude, I mean, think about it. Like the at the end of sex, you're always like, "Why did I do that?" The end of sex? Yeah. Or jerk masturbation? No. Both. You feel the what? same way. No. No, I mean not. No not way. Like, not with somebody you love. I feel like I climbed a mountain. But like looking back at like you know long pre, you know Mrs. Meathead, um, yeah, it was always like it was always like ugh. You get done, you're like, ugh. What? Yeah. 
I don't know. I don't feel that way, man. The, uh, one of them. One, oh, shit. One person. Oh, shit. What happened? Just like you said, he tweeted right back at me. See? Oh, I got back from him, too. There will be kegs of coffee. <laughs> I got back from him. That's awesome, man. See? This, See, is, this is how you use this Twitter. Is the, this is how you fucking use Twitter. He, I, just, he, I just learned. He favorited mine. Nice. He favorited it. I said, I said tweeting at the Master Bar Slammer during our live, during our live podcast. Favorite to see. This is how you use Twitter, and people will see that and they'll comment on you like, "Oh, what are you talking about?" And whatever. Boom. <sighs> and we just learned that's how you do it. Our, one of our, my heroes, at least. We just had a conversation with him, kind of. Yeah, we did. We awesome. did it direct. I hope one day John North listens to this, and we're on his show. When we're famous fitness personalities who you, own. Didn't you? You have a chance to go down there and internship. I did. I was accepted right? to go down. Well, why, I gave where, it to. What are you doing? I gave it to Young Adam. And he failed as well. Didn't want to take it. So miserable. I didn't go on your advice, sir. And you were right at the time not to go. I didn't take it as seriously. I was just like, oh. Did I tell you not to go? Yeah. Oh. Why did I say that again? <laughs> you were like, y- you're not. And I was way too new at it as w- at the time. Oh, yeah. I just wasn't training seriously. It wasn't no. my, in my heart yet. No. So it would have been, been like me going, for those who are MMA fans, it would have been like me going to Greg Jackson's MMA home of John Jones and, and other top 10 the athletes Albuquerque. to intern. Yep. To intern who just does MMA twice a week. Yeah. It's not, it would have been a dick move. No. Can't so I, I backed out and offered it to one of our very good friends, young Adam, young, strong Adam. Shout out to young Adam. Who didn't go either. Who didn't go. He said he had things to do, uh, but I don't, th- I don't think he did. Dude. Mm. I <laughs> forgot, uh, to talk about this. Do I've it. got a great topic. Let's go. I uh, on Thursday I got oh in, yeah yeah a, I I did Segway. a two hour sensory deprivation tank oh no, that was quite what I was thinking of okay yeah how'd that go two hours two hours on weed a lot of weed I took a double dose of edible weed Jesus Christ and uh, never done that before in the in the sensory deprivation tank but to get this just get this recorded while it's still just you know maybe less than a week in my mind mm. I'm gonna walk you through kind of what happened let's do it. So, usually, uh, I I go in and you okay. So this is this is my typical experience. This is kind of like how it started. You go in, you your body starts. Um, oh man, maybe I should explain what the sensory deprivation tank is first. Do people, do people know what it is? Okay, if you don't know what it <laughs> is, look it. it up. But basically, it's a meditation chamber yep. where you remove all your input. It's, it's exactly what it sounds like. Sensory deprivation. Yeah, it's light proof. It is. Uh, uh, there's no sound. There's there's uh, this salt water that you float on. That's the same temperature as your skin, so you can't feel it. And um, if you're in there and you get very still, you basically remove all the input cables into your into your brain, and you start to experience what it is to exist without your body, because you basically don't have your body. It's a yeah. non-drug drug. Yeah, it's a non-drug drug. So. Typically, you go in and you your senses start freaking out, and you start seeing things, you start hearing things, and and it, it becomes very psychedelic in nature because you're you're not sure whether these are images in your brain or if you're actually seeing things like out in, into the darkness. But it's it's very strange, and um, eventually they start uh, just y- your senses just give up and they stop trying, and then it's almost like a um, like a very low signal, like a light sound that's playing all the time that you never get to hear because there's always a much louder sound playing in the foreground. And you turn off that foreground sound so you can hear it. And you tune into the, like this whole different sort of uh, consciousness, this whole different sort of um, like quantifying yourself, mm. and not, not through like a body, not through like what you see or what you remember. So this one was fucking crazy. Yes. Okay, so I got in and very quickly, you know, could feel the weed like oh being boy. like, wow, this is very different with weed. Okay, <laughs> because <laughs> instantly the the visuals were super powerful. Ooh. So like I, I was seeing these, these just insane geometric patterns just like weaving in and out like uh, not. These are not the visuals I normally see. Normally I see like a fleeting eye or like, you know, it's or 
white patterns. These were like was it like the mushrooms one? These are like geometric patterns. So they similar to that sort mushroom of, trip? Sort of kaleidoscope, but not like not really. Okay. Um, much more like a screensaver with that uh, that, okay. that the lines the that kind of like weave. Yeah. yeah. So I'm seeing that, and I hear this this res this resonance, this sound. And it starts getting louder and louder and faster and faster. And it's like a high pitch hum. Like a like if you make that mm sound really hard, like mm, like you can kind of feel it up into the tip of your head. Yeah. I felt this feeling like that. And then I realized I was the one that was creating that sound. Yeah. Like I was the one that was I was in control of it. It was so, something. So I could change it. Right. And then I realized that that pattern that I was seeing was me. And I was this cradle of energy, like this sort of, uh, I was like this conduit of energy, kind of like two different electrodes mm -hmm. that are like separate. And they're, you know, the electricity shooting shoots electricity between each other. them that like what I am is some sort of like vessel between electricity. And I'm a pattern of that electricity. And I'm starting to experience myself like that. And then I realized I can manipulate myself through these, these like, uh, this, these vibrations. And, and I would kind of test it and i would see i wonder how far i could go and i try to like drive that mm, sent like up 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 like into a really really high pitch to the point where it was like really scary and then i go like really low and i kind of like play around with it for a little bit until i kind of got in my head i'm like well let's like just fucking redline it yeah hit the gas because we see can. how far i can right and i just went mm, like i i i kind of this is all without my body. This is my body being completely still. This is all happening like in the back, the back burner of my, my brain. And I, I redline it and I popped like <laughs> it popped. Kyle died. It popped and I ghost. blew up through. I, I, I knew it clear as day, like what I was experiencing. And I blew through that line between something and nothing. That line between matter and not matter. And I like burst through this line and I blew out through, through infinity. Like my body became the nothing, my existence, my consciousness became nothing, not the something that I'm used to this matter body. So on the other side, then I could see into my whole life and I realized I could hit pause in time. I could move forward in time, backward in time. And it Weird. was almost like I was watching my life as if it was a Grand Theft Auto character. Like almost like I was looking at it for, through a TV of, of the sorts, but not like a look. I wasn't using my eyes. I could just, no. I could see just third it. person perspective. It was another perspective of my own life. And, and there were other beings on this other side and they were like funny. They were like making these like really weird jokes, like without language. I, this one, it's hard to explain. Okay. But like they, they were communicating with me and in, in some fashion where I understood completely like what they were what they were trying to explain to me, but it wasn't through words and it wasn't through sight. I, I, and Do I, you, I broke down. I could see my life from this objective place and I could see, well, this is good. This is bad. This is good. This is bad. This is good. Like, but it wasn't that big of a deal. It was much more like uh, laid back. It's much more like just a character, just a game I was playing. And, Do um, at that point I was, I could go in and out. I could go. It was like, I could go back into my body and come back out of my body. And I was like, just free swimming. Do you think those, you said those little, those beings that were making jokes without language. Do you think those were just per personality traits of yourself? Yeah. You're just characters of your own self yeah. reflecting I on they, itself. I think they were, I think it, if I just had to make a guess of like what was going on there, there were all different parts of me. Neat. Like different, like alter egos of your right. own self, uh, different probably people that you create like if what we are we do have personas if, in what, us. if what we let's just say for a second that we're uh, all connected and, and we are one thing it would be pretty fucking lonely and we'd probably intentionally split ourselves up to like make just not be so yeah. bored you know and lonely and we can split ourselves up and you well, know we're really um able to do so much like i mean i never got uh such a strong sense of being infinite you know such a strong sense of this being an eternal play of energy just have to do doing this. what it does you know and i also like figure uh, realize that the way to do the tank is not to do it often i think it was more powerful because i haven't been in like a few months yeah 
It was like three months. And I, I would say, like, from now on, like, try not to go for, ev- like, every other week like I was. I, th- I think that it dulls you a little bit, you know, to the, the sensitivity. You don't um, you don't appreciate the the various realms of consciousness that you can tap into in there unless it's been a while since you've been in there. Yeah. It's much more profound. It's probably like any psychedelic. You know what I mean? Like if yeah. you do LSD if I every week, it becomes like yeah. more normal. Which I would lose, not recommend. You, I would not recommend that to no. anyone. You know, I, st- I still have only been done LSD. I'm not going to. Um, once. I'm not going to do LSD. I have no interest. Synthetic. Uh, I did, though. I We didn't talk about this. Synthetic. It's, uh... Listen to you. I know. I'm a douche. You're so, God, you're so cool. Know, only something. You only do non-synthetic... Non-synthetic drugs. Non-synthetic drugs. But I'm about Sorry, to tell dude. you a story I where I did do non-synthetic that drugs. altered by humans. Yeah, I don't touch the human hand. I'm going... <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'm about to tell you a story where right. I did the worst human-made drugs two weeks ago. Oh, God. I... Because we haven't been on the podcast. We have people who haven't been able to share this... Yeah. Um, I did allegedly. I didn't do it. I don't know. Some person who might have been near me or whatever allegedly did MDMA. Mm. I did MDMA. It was great. Which is uh, for you squares out there <laughs> is don't ecstasy. Be don't be mean. It's uh, pharmaceutical grade yeah. ecstasy. Yes, I got my hands on MDMA. So the drug dealer said. But let me tell you, you've done it allegedly. before. Allegedly, <laughs> you've allegedly done it before, right? Many times. Allegedly. No, not many. But like, uh, I'm going to say twice. And he, I made the mistake of when I did it, I was so drunk. Me too. That I couldn't even tell you what happened. Oh, I, don't, I remember it. Very specific. Like, I knew I had a fun night. <laughs> but like, I'm talking black out. No, I like, I don't bad. remember. I know we're a little too close to me. Bigger table. That's all right. Touching toes. Well, then. We're we're we are in my, you know, my living room. Yeah. I am <laughs> impressed with this setup, though. Good. I got to say. So yeah, I um, I was nervous. I was scared. Yeah. I was very scared. For, I get like this anytime I do something new. I'm trying to break through that habit, but I get terrified. Yeah. Like remember uh, when we allegedly did the mushrooms? I was I was sweating, sweating bullets before. Oh yeah. But uh, yeah, I did That's this. Scary, I, I, dude. It's scary. It's like, terrifying. Uh, think think about how Going scary consciousness. Think is how scary s- weed must be. You know, I I take this for granted because I allegedly partake in. We do. I, no one's arresting us. Yeah, right. Nobody gives a fuck. No. Um, um, I smoke weed. And yeah, I did I'll have, eat I did it. Molly. And I like it. I vaporize it. Whatever. Yeah. Eat it. Yeah. Um, but, like, the more you do it, the more you know how to navigate it, the less scared you are. You know what's going to happen. If you start right. to freak out, you're like, oh, just freaking out because I probably did a little too much weed. And, yeah. like, no, it'll pass. Like, no big deal. But if it's your first time Oof, or terrifying. early on, you don't know what's going to happen. You're like, I was terrified scary, my first time I got high. feel good. Were you? Uh, I don't know. I remember it. I was terrified. I'd have to really dig through my memories to try to remember the very first time. Be- okay. I, I want to say the very first time. I, I don't think – I don't even think I – I don't know whether I inhaled or not. I don't know. Mm. I remember, like, smoking and not feeling much and then being confused. Yeah. I and I only say this because I want to segue back into something else I said for like safety purposes. But the first time I got high on marijuana, I was super scared. I was like 15, or f- yeah, 15 with a bunch of buddies of mine in high school, and I did it so wrong. They were like, "Yeah, here's purple haze, which it was. Here's this really fucking strong strain of marijuana like we got from California, and here's a bong, and we're just gonna do bong rips like the first <laughs> the first time I ever smoked. So I was just doing." monster reps and I did three pulls three pulls because I didn't feel anything the first two I was like guys this shit doesn't work didn't feel anything the third pull I literally go outside I almost throw up almost throw up just coughing out my lungs I get back inside I sit down on my friend's recliner and my vision just goes Ew, like everything like I was hallucinating <laughs> I was definitely hallucinating and I sit back I'm like guys oh, no. how long does this last so scary <laughs> terrified they looked at me like so scary like four hours moment four hours yeah. i just looked at him and just closed my eyes and just <laughs> there. but it's terrifying yeah uh, and that's why people stop like they'll yeah. do it once and they'll be like not for me is that what it's like every time and no yeah and that it's no. like well, no, no. It's, is that how it's like drinking like you, you, you do it more and you know what's gonna happen like it would be fucking paralyzing terror yeah. if you got drunk and you thought that was forever 
Yeah. Like, that would be really oh. scary. But like we know because like drinking is very commonplace and everybody drinks that it just passes. Yeah. You know? And it's a poison we all accept socially. Yeah, we just accept it. We know. It's cool. Um I wanted to go back to something real quick. When yeah. I did the Molly it was great. For those of you who are thinking about doing it, I would say go for it. It's really great. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> no. Don't tell people. Wait, 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 to do just this wait, just wait a second. If you if, listen, if you're gonna do it, because we can't control you. If, but if you're gonna decide to do it's up MDMA, to you. it's Make up to you. But mind. if you decide to do this, get a test kit. You can buy them online. Test your Molly. See if it's legit. Because a lot of what happens is a lot of drug deals where slowly something gets cut with a speed or a methamphetamine, and you don't want that. So be responsible. Mm-hmm. Do it right. And uh, you know, be safe. And yeah, and don't make the decision lightly. No, it's 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 um. Do your research. Do like read know, a lot. Know what you're doing and make up your own mind. Be don't prepared. Listen, don't listen to us. Don't listen to anybody else. Take into account everything that you've heard, <laughs> and and then run it through your own brain filter, and then yep. you decide what's best for you. Because Damn all chance. of these, all of these are just tools, and they're yes. it's like just to get like to the same a, place. Just well, but. They're just like a hammer, and a hammer can build a house, and a hammer can murder someone. You know, it's not its <laughs> not good. It's not bad. It doesn't it's mean we should make hammers illegal. And it also doesn't mean that, like, people aren't going to use them improperly and, and hurt themselves or um, hurt other people. Like, that can totally happen. There's the, the yeah. It's not, like, You're taking a perfect risk. thing. Be ready. It's a tool. Yeah. So know what the tool is. Know the risks involved. Make up your own mind. Do it. You know, re- realize like the, the risks research. involved because the they are illegal. A lot, the, I mean, most of them are illegal, yeah. and like there's real, well, like it or not, you know, w- there's real consequences. Yeah, people with guns you know, if will you, if you take get, your freedom. Yeah, if like you, don't fuck around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you don't want to go to jail, man. It's not God. Jail's terrifying <laughs> because if you go to jail in this country, like if you're an American citizen. Or if you're not an American citizen, a citizen listening to this, you have no idea what it's like to go to jail in the United States. Just know most of the jails are owned by corporations. Yeah, Almost gonna, all of gonna, them. They're going to try to keep you in there forever. So, so what does that mean? Suck the blood you're out probably not going to get out. The food's going to be subpar. People will treat you like shit. Like it's don't. It's not. Cool, man. It's not it, you're not going to be healthy it. there. So know, know the risks involved. Yep. Be safe. Make up your own mind. You know. On that note, though, get fucking crazy. On that note, get crazy. The tool, if you use the tool right, it can change your life. You will be a better. It can. Human. It ha- they, a lot of uh, a lot of these substances have the possibility to change your life for sure. Yeah, I've been, I've been incredibly blessed. Uh, blessed. That's a weird word to still be using. I've been very fortunate to uh, experience some of the benefits of certain psychedelics mm-hmm. that have even. It was months ago uh, that I did shrooms, but allegedly, whatever. Um, Dude, still to this day, my patience is way better. Like, just, just all around thinking about other people has just increased exponentially since that. And I can't wait to do it again because it's – if you use it medicinally and you use it responsibly, you will learn something about yourself right. and about everyone around you. Well, I, yeah, I'm uh, honestly, I'm, I'm looking forward to using the tool in different ways. Yeah. You know, like, I, I kind of want – I want to go deep. I want to, you know, do the – lock myself in the closet and – Yeah. Take five grams and do it Terrence McKenna style. I want to go in the, in the tank and do three grams, three, four grams. <sighs> do it. I can handle that. Even if I can, I'll be fine. Well, you need to get in the tank first. Yeah. Well, I figure so I'd just go in ballsy. <laughs> I would not do that. I don't know. I don't know like two hours? I wouldn't <laughs> do drugs in the tank before you just do the tank. No? No. Give me something to write about. What if you just get claustrophobic in there? You don't know until you yeah, do it. I probably will. Just you'll live though. Yeah. I'll live. I mean, you'll live. Yeah, have experience. I mean, uh, the g- the guy that I go to, you know, he 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 says that there's some people that try it in five minutes. They are screaming at the top of their lungs, just like trying to get out. Yeah, I'll so. probably do that, but I'm like, just don't let me up, bro. <laughs> Keep me in here. I think put a lock on it. No, t- I'll tell him to put a lock on this bitch. <laughs> I want I want to I want to fight the dragon. You're a madman. No, I think I'm just young and dumb. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, but, you know, be a little reckless, man. Take some chances. Um, Go for man, let me kilos. tell you this though. Fuck it. For those of you who've never, it's fu- listening to the Strokes and Skrillex while on MDMA. Oh, I bet. Oh it's awesome. my God, it was I a re- it was awesome. a religious experience. Yeah. Also, Black Girls, thank you for twerking because that shit's great too. I bet it's awesome. That too. happened there as well. Yeah. You know what it's like to get twerked on by fat, brown butt girls while on MDMA and cocaine. Oh, I did that too. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that's like? No. That's incredible. <laughs> that's an experience. <laughs> no, I don't. Dude, you should try it. Well, yeah, no, I don't I don't you're, 
Yeah, yeah. that's over for me. <laughs> Those days are over. Man. Whew. Good podcast. Yeah. Um yeah, let's 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 cut it off here and say goodbye. But uh unless you got you got anything else you want to add in? Yeah, sponsor. Sponsor. Tinder. It's mm. awesome. Get on Tinder, people. Why not? Because fuck it. Because fuck it. You'll meet Literally. Someone. Do that. For sure, do that. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, bitches. All right, peeps. Until maybe, I don't know, later on tonight. We can do this all we want now that we have these fucking Suck mics. It. So <laughs> As long as Mrs. We're going to have so Kyle. many of these. Yeah. Yeah, so long as uh, uh, we've got room to do it. My dogs aren't losing their fucking minds. They seem to be doing pretty good right now. All right. Until next time. Bye.